Hello, friends and family. This is Megan Bowen, aka Tall Nun Mi Guk Saram, Im Nidang. And many of you guys always ask me, what do I do to take care of my hair? Because you noted that it's always very shiny and healthy looking. So I'm gonna tell you right now. First off, when I'm sleeping at night, I do not sleep on cotton pillowcases. Cotton pillowcases dry the heck out of my hair. So I have a satin pillowcase, satin or silk pillowcase. You sleep on those, then A, your hair still look like when I sleep with this hair and then wake up in the morning, it's literally, I woke up like this because it, your hair glides across the pillow. It's just like, glide, 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 glide. When you sleep on cotton pillowcases, like sometimes it grabs hair and like nicks it and it's just kind of, it's harsh on your hair and it dries it out. So I recommend you sleep on like a satin or silk pillowcase. In the winter in Korea, the first winter I had, when I was wearing a coat, I just let my locks hang out of the side of the coat because that was when my hair was long. But then like, I noticed it would start getting really dry and brittle on the ends no matter what I did to it. So in the winter in Korea, I don't care if I'm just running outside real quick to go to the honey jump. I'm gonna put my hood on and zip it up to here so that way my hair is inside in the warmth and not outside, you know, blowing in the elements because you don't realize how much the elements, like dry wind and stuff like that really impacts your hair. Another reason why my hair always looks nice on camera is because I use this hair mascara to set hair down that's a little bit out of place. I'm really anal about hair that's out of place. Like if the hair is supposed to be right here and it's right here, if the hair is like this, okay, and the top I have this. Like a rooster, okay, that's not okay with me. So then I just use this hair mascara. It's not hard like hairspray, it's more like oil-based. And then you just on places of hair that you want to be kind of like stayed in place, stay in place, that's out of place. So before I get on camera, that's, I mean, I make sure you know. You know. My favorite shampoo and conditioner is Giovanni you know, rich moisture, conditioner, and shampoo. That stuff is just so good. And I get it on iHerb. You can have it sent to Korea also, and it's only like $4 a bottle, and shipping is so cheap on iHerb, so I can keep getting that even in Korea. But it's really smooth, and it like always moisture your hair. That's why it's deep moisture. It says deep moisture, so I hope it gives deep moisture, otherwise they'd be lying, and that'd be wrong. This is my favorite Korean shampoo, which you can get at Olive Young, but it has tea tree in it and it tingles their scalp and just feels so clean, so I like to use it sometimes. In terms of washing my hair, so when I wash my hair in the shower, first what I do is, the very first thing I do when I get in the shower is I wash my hair and then put conditioner on it and then I put a shower cap on top and then the whole rest of the shower, so like the heat from the water is kind of like steaming it up a little bit, you know, penetrating like herbal essence and all that ish. And depending on how much more time I have, I usually wash my hair at night. So I have a hot cap, which I put on and sit at the computer for maybe an hour or so. And then I wash off the conditioner and then towel dry it a little bit. And then I take a argan oil ampoule and I just take a little bit, rub it in my fingers and rub it on my hair. You can find these things. I've been seeing them around Korea a lot in like Olive Young and I think I also saw it at Watson's, which is another popular like beauty supply store in Korea. And then when the hair dries a little bit more, I take my heat protector and put it on my hair. And then I let it air dry. I never blow dry my hair. I always let it air dry. And once a month, I do a protein treatment. This is the one I use because my friend is a hairstylist in America. So when I went back, I just bought it from his salon. But you can use any protein treatment, but at least once a month. And I minimize heat damage by only using the flat iron a minimum of once a week. So like if I'm, let's say I do my hair, it's looking all fresh and I done curled it up, you know, looking right, hey, and then I walk outside and it starts raining and it poofs up, I am not gonna re-flat iron it, okay? I'm gonna put a hat on my head and be like, oh well, next week I'll try again, I hope it doesn't rain. Sometimes you think, oh, if you flat iron your hair today, you can, or curl your hair today, you can keep curling it for that day, but every time you curl it, it's curling it again, so it's causing, you know, damage, and that's just not okay, you know? Okay, and I use brushes that have very easily moved bristles. This brush, the eye candy brush, is actually really popular in Korea right now. You can find it at Olive Young, and this stupid brush is so expensive, it's like $10, it's ridiculous, and it has a little mirror on the back. The bristles move a lot and so easily, so that way your hair doesn't get, you know. And I always start from the ends, of course. I'm sure you've heard that, start from the ends when you brush it. Start from the back and work my way up and just brush it. 
Ooh. So if you're in Korea, you should go to Olive Young and you should pick yourself up one of these eye candy brushes. I'm not getting paid to advertise that. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, stop promoting the products, okay? No, this is, this is my own find. And finally, I don't comb my hair so much. Like they say, you should comb your hair a certain amount of time. But I find the more I comb my hair, I feel like it breaks more. And also, I try not to touch it so much. Like when I was in high school, my best friend Diana Lee Chow, hey girl! When we were in AP Calculus, she used to twirl this piece of her hair every day. Just twirling, twirling, twirling. And so one day, I saw that chunk that she always twirled, and it was like split ends up to here. And I was like, man, I don't realize how much touching your hair actually breaks it off. And she has like really thick, strong Asian hair. You know, she's Chinese, so I'm like, dang. You know, I gotta stop touching it. So I try not to like touch it and I do not let people constantly run their fingers in my hair. I'm sorry guys, you know, if you, you know, wanna be uh, like, rub your hands in my hair, I'm gonna be like, give me sir. Mm -mm. So a lot of you guys always ask me, where can you get Korean products online and stuff like that. The last time, you know, you guys were asking, I told you I met up with the Wish Trends and we set up a deal so you guys can get free shipping and discount on the face products that I use from Claris. Well, some of those things that you can find around Korea, we put together a kind of box so you can get free shipping again and get some of those products that you guys have seen me use in other videos and that you've been asking about. And the things that you can get in the box are the brush, my favorite soap from Claris, you can get the hair mascara and you can get the lip gloss that I used in my K-pop makeup tutorial. So you just put it on. So wait 15 minutes and then peel it off. So you get nice red lips and it literally does like last all day from all the eatings and everything like that. You get the ampoule and you also get the face mist that you guys asked me about from my What's In My Purse video. I actually use a couple of types of face mist, but this is the one that I like to use at home. It's just so dry, so you just gotta spray that stuff on your face. So anyway, I hope that this helped you so you can know what kind of things that I do for my hair and you know, Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and you like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is down below. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And I will see ya.